We've arrived at of one of all places that we like to stop whenever we're traveling between old Cleveland, Ohio and Clearwater, Florida. South of the border in Dillon, South Carolina. Also known as uh, Pedro's or SOB for South of the Border. Insert as you will. They have all kinds of stuff here. We're going to get to that in a minute. But one thing I wanted to do real quick was introduce our room. And Angie decided to stand right there on the shot. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. So here we have TV, bed. They've updated since last time we were here. Last time everything was very orange, dark yellow, Mexican feel. Now it's more of a modern vibe. Although there is still certain quirks and differences, just like the last few times I've stayed here. The bathroom, of course, is still quite unique. In one sense that this is where they decided to put the mini fridge. Right by the bathroom sink. That's a little strange. And the, the shower stall is still a weird sort of round. But it's not orange anymore. They used to have very ornate tiles around the sinks that were like, you know, little depictions of Mexican life. Not anymore. I kind of miss that. I really do miss that, actually. But there is one still awesome consistency with this particular hotel that I'm glad has not changed. And that is, of course, the wall-mounted bottle opener. Always a standby for a quality hotel of my preference, my aptitude, my delight. <laughs> and this room is pretty big for, a, you know, it's a king suite. Actually, it's not a king suite. It's a king room. Normally, I get a king suite. So it's a little bit smaller than normal, but it's still a big room, I feel. Yeah, it's big. So we're going to get ourselves together. I'm going to run over to the Reptile Lagoon, look at some reptiles, then go to the Rip Off Chi Chi's restaurant, which is actually quite good, and then pass out and wake up at 7 in the morning and finish our drive. <laughs> Angie's very excited. 